Uh-oh, uh-oh. This happens sometimes in the kitchen, you guys. You make a mistake, but you have to recover. You can't waste any food. So you want to try to fish it out as best possible and move forward and hope that your friends will forgive you. Es que a veces pasan accidentes, pero tienes que seguir. Que no tirar la comida, como ahorita le sacó las cáscaras y va a continuar a cocinar. And as you can see, my knife skills, as I mentioned earlier, are terrible. But I'm going to try, try, and try again. Es que no sabe usar el cuchillo muy bien, pero va a continuar a tratar y a tratar, a tratar. So we're not professionals here, but we are um, hungry. So we gotta keep trying. Right, Andres? How are you doing? Yeah. You look so nervous right now. You, you doing okay? I'm hungry. Oh, it's, it's hunger, not nervous? Yeah. Don't cry. I know these shouts are gonna release some of the nasty stuff into the air and make us cry. I'm a man too. Men cry. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled out there. Los van a hacer llorar. Okay. Dicen que los dos son hombres. Los hombres también. Y los hombres también lloran. Yeah. Okay, I was, I was going to add those in there, but I remembered what do we have in there that we don't want? Seeds. So I'm going to have you, let me reach down here and grab a spoon. And find one. Oh, baby Victor, can you reach a spoon over there, please? Yep. All right, Victor's going to grab a spoon for our well stocked pantry. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys to that. Will you have Victor get those seeds out of there while I prepare the rest of the meal? They shot some seeds. Here, put this in the trash bowl. Okay, and while you do that, I'm going to prepare our avocados. Our avocados. Okay, and we picked up these, this nice bunch of avocados. They're slightly brown, uh, blackish green, and if you press on them with your thumb, they give a little bit. They're, they're kind of soft. Okay. So you see that avocado here is nice and perfectly ripe. What you're going to want to do is make a cross hatch here. So kind of like a tic-tac-toe board with your knife. El tomate. El tomate. El aguacate. Ay, ay, ay. Y que lo va a seguir cortando en líneas derechas cruzadas. Líneas cruzadas. Líneas cruzadas. Okay, you want to continue this pattern all throughout the avocado. Aguacate. There's one. And don't put that spoon away, Victor. I'm going to use that spoon, okay? Yep. You got it? Yes, sir. Michele, how's it going back there? Doing pretty good. I'm good. All right, turn off the heat. Okay. Well, like I said, this isn't a traditional guacamole. It's going to be a very chunky guacamole, kind of like a salsa. It's going to be a little more simple than normal, not very good. It's going to be a little salsa. Okay. Now we're going to prepare our tomates. Now we're going to try to peel off the sticker that comes on the vegetables, but he had a hard time with this one, so we're going to cut this part out. Okay? Where's my trash bowl? There it is. All right, you guys. While I'm doing this, will you scoop out the aguacate with the spoon? I'll show you how to do one on this and do the other one, okay? Get your cross-hatched. Avocados here and a spoon, and then get them over the bowl. You're gonna to want to scoop it out just like this. And you'll have wonderful chunks. Got it? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And lo que tiene que hacer es agarrarlo con la cuchara y rasparlo dentro del aguacate y se salen los cuadritos que corta. Y lo va a echar en la en el jugo de limón y con la shallot con la cebolla. Here. I'm going to switch the knife. Right I'm going to do a very similar thing with this tomate here. I'm going to just do a cross hatch over the top of it. Oh, sorry, the bottom of it. Okay. 
It's not giving me what I want, not even quite as sharp as I need it to be. That's okay, we'll make it work. We don't give up here, right guys? We never give up here, never, right? Never, never give up. Okay, whatever yeah. you guys do, don't, don't ever give up on your dreams. Okay, so now you're gonna have this ugly mess of a tomato here. Turn it on its side and chop away. I'm telling you, my knife skills are terrible. But we will eat today. We're gonna eat today, you guys. Yeah. Hey, vamos a comer. It's messy, I know. Alright. There's that. And there's that. And I'm gonna have you prepare another one of these avocates, Andres. Ready? I'm gonna add this to our peppers over here to give it some more moisture. Okay, so now you have a nice rich tomato flavor over the top of these peppers. You get it? Give us the update. Well, it's looking pretty good. It's uh, the mushroom are nice and cooked, and it's not as soft as the uh, onions here. So I guess we have something good going on right now. Yeah. Is it good here? Cocinó los chiles y no están lo mismo de suaves como las cebollas y que se mira muy bueno. All right. So we're gonna add the last couple um, avocados to that chunky guacamole, and we'll get started with our quesadillas. All right. So we're back. Miguel finished cooking up all those onions, and now we're gonna saute or um, wilt some of this spinach here. Um, Miguel acabó de cocinar las cebollas y vamos a cocinar las espinacas. Okay, all I did was take the onions out of this pan and I added a little more uh, olive oil and garlic. I didn't clean the pan because I want some of this, the, the, the sweetness to remain. Alright, and this part is really easy. All we're going to do is add the spinach and let it sit. Todo lo que va a hacer es echar la espinaca y dejarla que se siente. Okay. So this is going to reduce in size by about a half, and then we'll have a nice soft spinach mixture for our quesadillas. Y se va, la, el tamaño se va a reducir como mitad y se, lo vamos a poder usar para nuestras quesadillas. All right, as you can see, the spinach cooks down to a little itty bitty portion. Como podemos mirar, la espinaca se hizo muy pequeña. And now we're ready to assemble our quesadillas. Today we're going to be using a whole wheat uh, tortilla uh, because there's a lot of fiber in it and there's a lot of grains. Integral, no? Integral. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put the tortilla down like so. I'm going to steal some. Monterey Jack cheese from Miguel, who's been over there chopping it. I want to get the cheese down first because that's going to be our um, big melting point. Okay, we want to melt this cheese and build kind of like a sounds gross, but like a food glue. Yeah. That's going to uh, marry all of those ingredients together. Es que vamos a echar un poco de queso que Miguel está cortando trocitos muy delgaditos y es como va a ser como la el pegamento para las demás. Okay, so I'm going to do an everything um, quesadilla here. I'm going to grab some of these peppers and jalapenos and mushrooms. I'm going to have some of the spinach here. Spinaca. Spinaca, right? And then I'm going to, oh yeah, because tomatoes are in here. And I'm going to add some of these caramelized onions. And that looks really, really colorful, really good. I want to turn this tortilla over. So as you can see, it's browning. And we're going to cook it for about maybe 10 or 15 seconds per side until the cheese starts to melt, and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, we'll be right back to show you the finished product. Y regresaremos para mirar la quesadilla completa. Thanks.
I was a little worried there for a minute, guys, but we came out on top. Our quesadillas are beautiful. They smell delicious. And just take a look. I wow. mean, mm -hmm. look at that. colors. I mean, look at that. It's, it's a cornucopia of color and taste. Okay. No, you can't eat it. I work so hard on this. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and have my own, but we have lots of ingredients. So you can make your own. Okay? I'm going to put a little bit of this guacamole in here and have the very first bite. Ooh. No. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So once again, I'm Phil. Alexa Dulce. I'm Mikhail. And these are our teens. I uh, will see you next time on Teen Space Books.